You want to be in the frame? You want to be in the video? You want to be on camera? Can you scoot over a little right over here? You sit right there and you can be right on point. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we have my March favorites, things I've been loving and using for the month of March. We're going to jump right on because I have quite a few things and I have both my children here today. So I'm hoping to film this without any interruptions and we can just kind of th th flow through and then I don't have to do any editing, which makes me really excited. So the first thing, I just wanted to share this with you. This is the uh, Silk Almond Creamer and the flavor is vanilla. I love, well, I love creamer. Okay. But I wanted to try this brand. I don't like the Silk Almond Milk at all. I think it tastes like poop. I think it tastes raw, like burnt, like gross. It leaves an aftertaste in your mouth. I don't like it, but this creamer is really good. The vanilla is yummy, and so that's currently what I'm drinking because I just sat down and I realized I didn't brush my teeth today. So, and now it's too late because I got a bold lip on and I'm drinking coffee, so what's the point? Mm-hmm. Mm, it's yummy. It's really yummy. Let's just, let's hope we don't knock this over though, however. All right, so first favorites, where do we want to start? I'm kind of overwhelmed. Um, let's start with my wine. I always start with my wine, so let's keep tradition rolling, shall we? Um, this is the Gentleman's Collection wine. I picked this up on recommendation from the same guy that recommended to me Pitch Black, and apparently he knows his wines and he knows what tastes good, and I said, you know what, I loved the Pitch Black, but I need to try something different now. Not that I won't repurchase it, because I've repurchased it several times, but, you know, I'm always on the hunt for something else. Aren't we all, like, always something better, something greater, something maybe equally as good, but just something different? So... This is a red blend, and it's put out by Lindman's. I've tried Lindman's um, regular w wine or whatever. I don't know if this is just like a different wine within their line, but this is the red blend, very fruity. If you like something that's like lots of berries, like blackberry, cherry, strawberry, just a whole bunch of berries in your mouth and sweeter, not super sweet, but a little bit sweeter, smooth, easy drinking. This is like a porch rocking wine, I guess I would say. You don't have to eat something with this. It's not blah. It's not dry. It's really easy drinking. It's very delicious. And I think this is a great wine to bring to a housewarming party. Not that I ever go to any of those, but like where you're going someplace where you want to bring something, but you don't know what everybody likes and you love wine and you want to drink it yourself, bring this because I think, I think a lot of people would really enjoy this. I hauled these earlier, but I've been wearing them nonstop, and I don't know about you, but I wear flip-flops all summer, pretty much basically all year, and it's important to me that they're comfortable, and I really, really enjoy these. This is my first time purchasing from this brand. It's called Reef. I know it's not a new brand. It's new to me because I never bought them, but I like the simplicity of these. You can even see my big old toes. I like the simplicity of these because they don't have really thick straps, so they still look cute with something dressier. They're not going to draw a lot of attention to your feet if you're looking for something kind of subdued. Simple, comfortable, gets the job done, lightweight. The toe thing doesn't hurt your toes. They're a very soft, um, almost, I want to say microfiber. It kind of feels like microfiber, but I know it's not. And they're just, they're just basic, but sometimes basic is the way to go. So I love those. Those are my, this year's flip-flops. So I wanted to recommend those to you because I've been loving them, so I think you would too. Uh, I have three clothing items real quick because I've been living in these. Okay, we, my kids and I have joined a gym, and so we've been going there a lot. They have a pool, and they have a play area for the kids, and a rock climbing wall, all, all kinds of stuff. So I've been living in quote-unquote exercise gear or just like comfortable tank tops, basically. And I recently went shopping at Lululemon earlier in the month because when you join a gym, you need to have gym-appropriate clothes. Okay, and so I needed to kind of spruce up my wardrobe in that area because not everything was completely appropriate to be wearing to the gym. So, I love Lululemon. They have not let me down. Everything I purchased from them, nothing is ripped, nothing is torn, everything fits nicely. Um, I mean, it's just a great environment. They're very helpful there at the actual store, and I've been to several different stores in different states and had a wonderful experience everywhere. And I bought three tops that I'm literally living in. This is the Simply Bear. It's black. Um, I'll insert a picture of the model wearing it because this is black. You're not going to be able to tell as much. But this is one of those tops where it's not just for the gym. It's, I mean, you're running errands. You want to be comfortable. You don't want to be pulling at your clothes. And you can absolutely dress this simple tank top up and because of the cut of the arm sleeve I feel like it can be very dressy for a dinner out like seriously throw it on with a statement piece and a blazer no one's ever going to know that it's a Lululemon top that you can work out in but that doesn't you don't have to just work out in these you know just because I say that's what I'm doing it for you can do what you want with it but I love this one this particular one I did see was on sale on the website so check to see if that is still uh, the case 
But the other one I'm loving is just the eraser back one. This color is really nice too. It is a an actual eraser back. Um, it comes in lots of colors. This one does. Now this fabric and the Simply Bear are that Luan fabric where it's going to be a, a tighter fit, but it's smooth. Um, and it, it's a little bit stretch. It, well, it is stretchy, but it's not super heavy. And I find that they both work well for sweating like crazy. And um, I'm not like my clothes don't just hold the sweat like it wicks it away from your body really nicely so love that one and then the third one is the it's called the swiftly tech this one has built-in mesh panels and it's a different material than the other two this one I like to do more of my cardio type stuff in and it is a razorback and this one comes in lots of different colors too but I've been living in those I mean you ask me if you would have seen me or asked me what are you wearing like March those <laughs> I, I, they're on repeat. Like I wear them, wash them, wear them, wash them. Every single week, you'll see me in at least one of those shirts. So I had to share those because I think they're absolutely worth the, the price point because they are kind of spendy. But I think of it as like an investment piece. I mean, I've bought so many inexpensive workout tops, and I don't even have them anymore because they get stretched out, they get worn out. I mean, you pay a little bit more, but you're getting better quality. Well, this is what I've been reading, and I've been reading it for a while because I've, you know, I got stuck on Shameless and I got stuck on all these Netflix shows and this that and the other thing but this is what I've been reading I wanted to share with you because I definitely recommend trying this out um, it's called heaven is for real they did make a movie about this but I always recommend to people especially those who are like movie buffs read the story read the actual book first because there's so many more details in it that you know they can't put all that in a movie so um, heaven is for real it's a book about a little boy who died and went to heaven actually he didn't actually die um, but he went to heaven and it's it's and it's told through his father's eyes like he the little boy told his father you know what he all had seen and his father wrote it down and it's just a really great book really encouraging really awesome and I definitely recommend this one I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer when we talk about the makeup here because why not makeup and skincare so two of my loves two of my loves and there's a lot of things I enjoy in life but you know there's something about putting on your makeup and like going through the process of cleansing and using all these awesome products and seeing results that just gets you excited you know the pixie glow peel pads with 20% glycolic acid and rose water you can get these at Target or you can order them online I think for the price point these are awesome they're 20 I want to say around 20 dollars between 20 and 25 I can't remember exactly but for a, a drugstore available option, they have great ingredients. Sorry, the wind is now coming through. They have great ingredients. There's no added fragrance. It's glycolic. So this is not something you're going to want to use nightly. Um, I usually use glycolic probably two or three times a week. Glycolic acid is a, it penetrates deeper into your skin. So if you do it too often, your skin can get really irritated and red and break out. And mine does. It gets mad. It's like, no, it's, that's too much. Um, so I've been using these. It's just a pad. It's pre-soaked. You take it out. After you cleanse your face, you want to go in with this. Put this all over your face, and you can do it down your neck and the back of your hands or wherever. It's going to tingle a little bit. Just two minutes. You can you can do it. And then you're going to want to uh, neutralize the acid with some water. And then you can carry on with the rest of your skincare. But I think these work, you know, and for 20% available at the drugstore, yes, yes, yes. I think it's a great deal. You get 60 of them. So that's going to last you a while. And like I said, don't do this every night. I think that's probably going to be too harsh, especially if you're new to glycolic. If you're used to glycolic, you do you. But if you're not, I would ease into that. Next, um, oh my gosh, I love this stuff. I bought this on a whim after watching Caroline, Caroline Huron's, here on YouTube. She has a channel and she is so educated when it comes to skincare. She has a blog and that's like what she does. And she, a few times, and I just finally decided to buy it now after running out of my other toners, but I bought the Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator. It's not gym day, honey. Um, this hydrating accelerator. So this is a toner and like a boost of mo moisturization in one. First of all, oh, it smells amazing. It smells so good. It's full of different essential oils. There's no added perfumes. It's all good stuff in here. There's different types of jojoba oil, marula oil, primrose oil, barrage seed oil, grapeseed oil, sea buckthorn oil, and then it, like how it smells is essential oils and it smells amazing so this helps hydrate your skin but it's also a toner so it's going to restore the pH level of your skin and get it prepped for all of the other expensive crap you're going to put on it so you can't skip toner toner is really a must and I highly recommend this one. Oh my god I can't stop smelling it it smells so good it just it's it's like such a spa relaxing mm, 
yes get yourself some of this it's not even expensive either I think it's like around $30 and even if you were to use this twice a day every day I think it's gonna last you at least a couple months the other toner I picked up this month is the bio elements power peptide age fighting facial toner you do this at the same time as you would do this toner after you cleanse and do your acid um, after cleansing close eyes and spritz all over face neck and V area um, this one smells good this one smells a little bit more like beachy to me for some reason not that scent matters because this doesn't have any added fragrance or anything like that either it's got really good ingredients but this toner is really great for anti-aging um, I've really enjoyed using it it feels really great on your skin peptides are awesome for anti-aging they help boost collagen and elastin basically between these two toners I'm just pretty much set we're getting into that warm time of year where you're gonna be outside a lot more and sunscreen is crucial like you want to have good skin you want to have good, awesome makeup. It starts with your skin, truly. And I don't know about you, but I don't love the smell of sunscreen. I don't like really greasy facial sunscreens. Kind of deters me from even putting them on my face because it's just it's so greasy. You know, then your hair gets all greasy and your bangs get jacked up. And I just, I like a sunscreen that is going to be mm, not so obviously sunscreen, looking like sunscreen or smelling like sunscreen. So, I really enjoy this one. Highly recommend this one. This is the Coats Healthier Sunscreen Flawless Complexion SPF 50. Now, this is a uh, slightly tinted sunscreen. So when you don't want to wear makeup and you just want to do your sunscreen, I like this because it still evens out the redness a little bit. SPF 50 is bomb. It doesn't have chemical sunscreens, preservatives, or oils in it. You can also buy this Coats brand in a matte finish. So if you're oily, they have a matte one, so it's it's not it's and you can get it tinted and it's matte. I got the one that has a little bit more luminosity because I like my skin to look a little bit more dewy and glowy. And so I love this. It works great under makeup. I use this every single time I go outside. Um, it works great by itself. And yeah, if you're looking for something that doesn't smell like sunscreen, look like sunscreen, feel like sunscreen, try out this brand. All right, this nail polish. I love this color. This is OPI's Mod About You. It's what I've been wearing on my nails this month. It's a beautiful pink like this is a spring pink if there ever was one um it's a little bit retro like with the finish of it it's it's a it's definitely just a cream finish nail polish but it's a let's see if i can zoom you in here the lighting kind of washes out, out a little bit it's definitely like a pastel pink see that light let's see oh now it's too dark can you see there there you go it's like a really awesome pastel pink color i just think it looks really pretty maybe it looks too color back here yeah it kind of does why is that? I wish I knew about lighting. But anyways, I love this nail polish. I've had this on for almost two weeks straight, and it's barely chipped or anything. Now, I do have acrylics, but even still, let me tell you, I know how to ruin a manicure. I've been gardening and all that kind of, working with weights and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, swimming in chlorine, like, and it's still with, with, with stand, withstood, whatever the word is. OPI is a great nail polish brand. You know that. <clears throat> Can't go wrong with OPI. Coincidentally, I'm loving this necklace, too. This is from Stella and Dot. I got this earlier in the month and I've been wearing this a lot too. It goes with so many things, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, it's just really simple. And I, I personally enjoy simple, delicate pieces that I can, you know, take from really casual to really dressy. Like that's just my personal style. So loving, loving this little, it's got little knots on it. It's super cute. Um, also really loving not having lashes on today. Just kind of that fresh faced springy dewy look. I'm kind of really into it. Um, my lashes have grown too because I use that rapid lash stuff, which honestly works like no joke it works and it's only like forty dollars a tube now I can't say like the more expensive lash enhancer serums I've never tried them but they're like double and triple the cost so if the inexpensive one works I mean I don't know if I would ever buy the more expensive ones but they're working and then the mascara I have on is Guerlain Maxi Lash one of my all-time favorite mascaras you cannot go wrong with Guerlain Maxi Lash I mean look it's just I mean I don't have really long lashes I was not born with long lashes I was not born with brows I was Okay, we'll stop there, but yeah. Okay, so makeup. Let me scoot, this. scoot in a little bit so you can get a good close-up. So this is the foundation I'm wearing. I have it mixed with a little bit of Too Faced Born This Way because this is too light now that I decided to self-tan. So I had to put in a little bit, just a little bit of a darker foundation, which really doesn't change the finish of this foundation because that one is just, it's like similar. Um, but this is the Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation Concentrate. Holy cow, this is an awesome foundation. I did an entire review on this. And so if you want to know everything about it, check out that review. But it's only $30 and it's bomb. And a little goes a very long way. It's shade 03. But now that I've self-tanned, I definitely could bump it up to probably shade 4 or something. But mm, 
yeah, you need, you should probably try that foundation. <sighs> Do you see this really fun glow I have going on here? This is the Becca Prismatic Amethyst. This is the newest of the Shimmering Skin Perfectors. It creates the most awesome, beautiful, pinky, golden, lavender, duo, chromey, prismatic-y highlighter. I don't know. It's so fun. It's so fun. I love the packaging. It's really pretty. You know, it has that slight, like, purple tinge to it or whatever. Looks like so. I don't want to blind you here. But it's really fun on the skin. Now, I've worn this when my skin was tan, and I've worn it when I wasn't self-tanning, and I liked it equally as much. You know, so I feel like... I don't know about really deep skin tones, but no, I think this would still be cool on really deep skin tones too. Depending on what your skin tone is, it's going to pull different shades because of what's underneath it, but I really like it. It's right on point with the with consistency and formulation with all of their other ones. Very, I feel like this one though is a little bit uh, more my style. I feel like their other ones are more like bam, wham, super bold, wet, wet wet looking no like just metallic or like just siren like highlighter this one's a little bit more like glowy and that's more my style is like from within versus like on top kind of thing oh, i can't stop staring it's so pretty it's so pretty so really been enjoying that kind of surprised myself because i'm like am i gonna like a highlighter that has a little bit of a lavender pinky shift but i do this blush has been on repeat i've i'm talked about it so much. I'm sorry, but NARS Bumpy Ride, it's a beautiful spring blush. It really is. It has a really soft sheen to it. I'm not wearing this today, so I'll give you a swatch of this one. I've been wearing it, so if you want to see me wearing it, check out some of my other videos this month, but, or my vlog, I swatch it up close in the vlog. It's a beautiful pinky coral with a really nice sheen to it. Let's see if we can get it closer. See the sheen? So if you wanted to skip highlighter, you absolutely could, but it's just really beautiful. Really well done blush. Really enjoy it. So that is NARS Bumpy Ride. Yes. Oh, it's so good. Okay, but see, I feel like the light... Yeah, there we go. Gorgeous! Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, and lastly, my last favorite of this month is a bold lip. Um, bringing the bold lips back, you know, it's so easy to just wear nude lips because it's... it's, it's it's easy to do a nude, neutral lip. It just goes with everything. And when you watch YouTube, you, I, I, I feel like everybody does, like, nude lips all the time. And I get sucked into that. But I think my personal best, for me, is more color. I think color looks great on everybody. It just really livens up the face. So I've been really into a coral lip. Spring is the time of year where I bust out all my coral lipsticks. And I have a lot because I love coral lipsticks. So this is one of my favorites. I love this formula. Oh my gosh, I haven't worn this formula in so long. And I've been wearing it. And I'm like, man, this is so good. The Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy line, number 320 Defiant Coral. A true pinky coral. It is just such a good color. And the formula is so creamy and just very pigmented. Just here, let's see. Just a true pinky coral. Let's see, where's a good lighting? Back here? I don't know. It's just beautiful. I love this lipstick. So comfortable to wear. Very flattering, too. You want to give your face some life? Throw on this color. What I'm wearing today... I don't know if they make this color anymore. I'll, I'll link below there this line, but these are the Bite, um, let's see, the High Pigment Pencil. Do they make these anymore? I don't know. This color is called Tarte, T-A-R-T. It actually is very similar to, okay, it's really similar, just slightly more pink than the Estee Lauder. But this is the one I'm wearing today. I love, I love this one. So that's, that's the Bite one. Another color that I think is actually similar to both of these, well, no, maybe not. So, I mean, they're very similar. So, if they don't make this anymore, just get the Estee Lauder one because it's it's darn near the same thing. So, okay, guys, that is going to be it for my March favorites. March was a great month, but I'm really looking forward to the month of April because the month of April is going to be so good. It's just a whole bunch of, my family's going to come and visit, and um, my husband... And Easter and going to SeaWorld and going out to eat and going to the Riverwalk and just doing all kinds of fun things. So I'm really looking to the, forward to the end of April. We'll see how the video schedule goes in April just because, like I said, I just said I'm going to have family coming into town. So that's going to be priority, but I'll try to still get up at least one video a week for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and have a great rest of your day and we'll chat very soon. Bye guys.